Long before the Ethiopian Airlines plane crash in March 2019, a pilot for the carrier told senior managers that more training was needed. Well, the warnings came after the Lion Air's crash in October 2018, in, in which case crews actually faced the same situation. Well, Bloomberg's Anne-Marie Hordur now joins us with the very latest. Anne-Marie, first of all, is this something new? We were already finding out that actually there were multiple warnings from multiple sides and saying, guys, we, they need more training. Yeah, that's right. But this is uh, new documents Bloomberg News got. It's over 400 documents, of course correspondence from this one pilot to senior managers and as early as December he's outlining they need more communication they need more training and what he was saying is we need to avert what happened to the Lion Air um, downing the devastating in October um, so this was months after that and he's uh, you know alerting his senior management and while what he said didn't actually play out exactly he was foreseeing that chaos and the peril that dealt with the cockpit and that's pretty much a signal kind of to the senior management that that more communication and training was needed needed. So why was it not given? Well, Ethiopian Airlines gave out a statement today and they said they can't exactly comment on all of this right now, but they did say that they gave the training that Boeing and the FAA um, recommended. So for them, it was like the training was given, um, not really sure what else they were needed, but that is a good question. All we know right now is they said they're not going to comment too much on this. And, and so, but the training should have come from Boeing or is it up to Ethiopian to give that training? Ethiopian Airlines would give that training, but the training was recommended by Boeing and the FAA. So the Ethiopian Airlines says we gave the training that was recommended to us. Um, but it is pretty insightful, 400 pages of these documents of his correspondence, this pilot, to Ethiopian Airlines. And there's more to this story really today, because we just heard this morning from Ayata, the director, yep. saying that it's going to be another 10 to 12 weeks, months before the, the 737 returns. Interestingly enough, though, just yesterday, Boeing told one of their biggest um, buyers, SpiceJet in India, that they'll be back in July, which seems very bullish compared to what regulators are asking for.